When the narcissist sees you're too strong, they do this. When the narcissist sees you're too strong, they will begin to see you as a threat. They will become envious and jealous of you and they will wish to harm you. They will criticize you. They will put you down. But they will also pretend to care about you so that they can remain in your proximity and learn more about your goals and dreams. They will give you their help and support to make you rely on them and trust them just to then take it all away from you to betray you and leave you defenseless. When they see you're too strong, they will play the victim. They will act dishonestly. They will act as though you did something to them. They will push and provoke you into reacting to what they're doing. They will say and do things that they know will irritate you until you finally lash out at them. They will be passive aggressive. They will triangulate you. They will compare you to other people. They will do things to try to make you jealous. They will belittle you. They will try to make you feel small. They will do anything to get a reaction out of you, to make you angry or upset. But they will do it in a way where they cannot be incriminated. They will make you act out in the same way that they do. They want you to lash out when they attack you. They're hoping that you will fight back. Because it fuels them. It makes them feel alive. Because now you're acting crazy just like them. It makes them feel like they're not alone. You're in the same boat. So you may see the narcissistic smirk because they're satisfied with your response. They got what they wanted from you. They made you react to the abuse. They've brought you down to their level, which makes them feel powerful and in control. It gives them supply. And now they can point the finger at you. They can blame you for something you didn't do. They can make you feel guilty just by making you react to what they're doing. Which is why although you may be strong, you need to be aware of their tricks because they will play the victim and you may end up apologizing. You may end up trying to make things right and they will never let it go. They like to bring up things from the past, so they will keep it in their back pocket to use at a later date 
to show people that you have a history of destructive or violent behavior. To label you as a criminal. To discredit you and make you look bad. When really, it's all a lie. They took advantage of your feelings. They turned you against yourself. They pushed and provoked you. And then they sat back and observed your reaction. They manipulated your emotions until you finally lashed out. And then they made you feel guilty. They made you feel bad about yourself. While they played the victim. Because that is how they drain your energy. Which is why we need to control our emotions. If we are not in control of our emotions, someone else is. The narcissist may be manipulating us. They may be lying to us. They may be triangulating us with another person to try to get a reaction out of us so that they can use it against us while they're cheating on us and acting dishonestly. But we need to be in control of our emotions. Because only the narcissist benefits when we get mad. It gives them the upper hand. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.